In this video, let's talk about uh, why my alternator cracked and what I did to after driving at the moment. Uh, we talked about three reasons about uh, why a alternator crack, and we talk about the bearing, we talk about the weather condensation, and we talk about the fixing bolts uh, uh, were too tight, uh, so that uh, the pressure, the force, uh, make it to crack eventually. That was three possible reasons. But for my case, I do think the main reason would be condensation. And it happened after I parked the car in the garage for three months. When I uh, opened my garage, I saw the condensation on the car and under the uh, body of the car, everywhere condensation. And then I didn't realize that my alternator can crack. I recharged battery, connected, switch start, and after start, I think it's two or three seconds, and there is a very loud noise and I switch off the engine. And later on, I try to start, my battery couldn't uh, pull the engine. And then I disconnect the battery and I charge the battery again. After battery fall, I reconnected and I tried several times, just to couldn't start engine. It feels like uh, it's very hard to turn the engine over. And eventually, I take off the drive belt and then I found the alternator rotated, it's okay, very smooth, very quiet, everything is okay. And then after I installed the drive belt, very difficult to turn from the crankshaft. It should be, in normal case, very easy to turn from the crankshaft uh, bolt uh, with the spanner. And in my case, it's quite difficult to turn. And then I tried several times. Then I realized it is this, the fixing bolt, the top fixing bolt. If I tighten that, and the alternator shaft will be seized. And if I make this loose, and then the shaft will rotate freely, smoothly. So that's the reason. If I have this tightened, and then the alternator will be seized. So that make me think. The casing cracked, and if I get that bolt, you can see the bolt. If I get that bolt tightened, the alternator will be seized. So, my temporary solution is, I just uh, make that uh, bolt as tight as possible, but not very too tight, before my alternator get seized so this bolt i just make it not that tight after i found the points where I, where i get a, a resistance start to seize the shaft of the alternator and then i make a half turn back and now it is not seized it can still run the engine so that's temporary solution i don't think uh, this will drop even this uh, both get like uh, one or two centimeter out. This is because the alternator hanging on here. So it's uh, relatively safe. But uh, I just try to keep an eye on this bolt to say it's always there and not uh, screw it itself back out. So at the moment, I'm still keep driving, but I will find uh, a second hand uh, sometimes uh, later.